It's the women's 50 meter freestyle final at the Berlin World Cup of Swimming. This is really electric from Kasia Vasik. The silver medal at the Long Course World Championships earlier this year. Bronze in this event in Abu Dhabi at the end of last year. But this is a real championship winning display. I'm 30 years old. Um, I'm from Poland, currently training in Las Vegas. I have four siblings, um, two brothers and a sister. Uh, we all been involved uh, with sports. My brothers uh, were swimmers. My sister was a high jumper. Uh, we love sports and uh, we always uh, talk about swimming or, 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 or different sports. My, my dad was a boxer, um, so we had a background uh, really competitive. Uh, my brothers were always my heroes and, and I want to be like them. We would uh, wake up together and go to practice together. They were a little bit older than me, but um, I feel like that's why I want to always swim fast because I want to catch their time and be like them. They were really my uh, my heroes, so they, they really motivated me. When, when I was 21 years old, I uh, got a scholarship at USC and decided to move to US. And that's where I met my husband. Um, and my heart decided that I, I'm gonna live in the US, and uh, I'm really happy. So I graduated in 2016 and that's when uh, I was planning the wedding <laughs> my, uh, my husband proposed to me and, uh, and that's when we decided I'm gonna move to Las Vegas because uh, he got a job in Vegas so, so it was just yeah, a good move for me to, to move and move with him. Um, I, I, never, I never thought I'm gonna end up in Vegas. Uh, but, you know, it happened uh, and I was really happy, I mean, that's when um, I stopped swimming, I, I moved, moved the cities and, and I started my non-swimming life. So when I, when I retired from swimming, um, I felt like I lost myself a little bit, I didn't, I wasn't prepared to to say goodbye to swimming, you know, when after 2016 Olympics, I was excited to swim, I, I felt like I have a lot of to give to sport, uh, but I, uh, it just happened, life happened, you know, I moved on and, and all of a sudden, I, I, I remember the moment of like laying in bed, waking up to go to work, and I'm like, I, I feel like I'm never gonna be a professional athlete again. I have to close that chapter in my life and move on. I'm never gonna be a, an athlete again. And it really was it like it brought the sadness in my heart. Uh, like I was, I, it wasn't my decision to, to end my career. It was just like it just happened. One day I signed up for um, a master meet, Las Vegas master meet, that were. That was actually at the OLV, and that's when I met uh, head coach Ben Lord, and uh, he said like, hey, if you if you wanna start swimming professionally, we open a swimming team and you can join us. And I was like, okay, cool, like you know. And I got really excited, and and every day I was really thankful for the chance uh, of, of having a team, having a coach that that like, cares about me and. and Want, want to make me better. Kasha certainly is the best. Uh, I've ever seen, not only, but certainly the best I've ever seen. Probably the best I've ever seen. She's, she's like a brilliant machine. You know, she, she's 
somebody who you can give something really complex to. And after a few tries, she will either master it or just as important, she'll throw it out. Like, that's not working for me, you know? And I think that both of those abilities are really important. You know, you have to know, like, yeah, this isn't gonna be what I need, like, get rid of it, you know? And then Pat and I have to come up with something different, you know? Um, or she'll get it so well that she's like, master it, you know, and like, go next, you know? And that's really, really crucial in her success. So that's, that's what changed when I was in college. I, I, you know, I was just going to classes and going to practices. I didn't really take care of my nutrition and recovery and I was just an athlete. But I wasn't aware of, you know, all the important stuff. So when I came back, obviously at the beginning I worked part time to like make some money to be able to support myself. But after a year, I knew, like, hey, if I want to be a professional, I have to do it for, like, 100%. I can't do 50-50. After I came back from retirement and, and, you know, obviously with coaches, we sat down and they asked me what are my goals. And I said I want to make my fourth Olympic team. I want to go to Tokyo and I feel like this is, uh, this is my goal. I want to be four-time Olympian. Um, but when I came back, I was just so excited and motivated that like every month I would improve my times. And like after two months being back in the water, I swim faster than in college at USC. So uh, we had to really fast evaluate our goals. And um, I think like joining the uh, International Swimming League in 2019, that was really a turning point for me uh, because I was able to race with the best athletes, the best swimmers in the world. And I never felt like I belonged in that crew. And all of a sudden I was with them racing. They were supporting me. I had my own team and and I just met them as normal people, normal athletes that really train hard, but they're the same. I mean, I'm the same as, as other athletes. So that really gave me courage. Like I didn't look at them like superheroes anymore. I just look at them like normal uh, swimmers that I can be. And no one in this 100 freestyle field has won this event in their ISL careers. Bit of a middle type rating of 16,000. So that's the opportunity that you talked about. Nobody winning, so there will be a first time winner in this event. And Wasik and Coleman, one, two at the turn, but Hines lurking only two tenths behind. Yeah, that, and, and watch the back half of an Erica Brown who can put together a tremendous 200 freestyle. Natalie Hines hadn't let them get away. She's way over there in lane number six. And a great dolphin kick off the wall. Hines trying to charge late. She's moved into second, but Wasik, she is going to hold her off. Condors will go second and third, but it's Wasik getting another win for Toronto as she's on top. A great start for the Titans on day number two. Cassia, you're on fire at the moment. Great best time. Thank you, yeah, this is the Polish national record. I'm really happy, my best time. We started this day really well, and Toronto Titans could have finished. You and this Toronto team just love to race, right? I love my team, and we, we, we know we have to do our job, and we are here, we're fighting for the points. And if you, could you do butterfly? If you're in this good form, maybe the skins for you. I, I hope for the freestyle skins, but teams keep eliminating freestyle, so I don't know why, but I'm waiting, I'm patient. You're doing an amazing job. Well done, tri Titans. Thank you. Go when you get to a certain level, you, you feel a lot of pressure from, uh, I mean, you're always gonna feel pressure. If you care about something and you want to improve, you always feel the pressure. It doesn't, sometimes it doesn't come with me, from media or like uh, other people, but it comes from you personally. Like you, you care about the sport, so you put the pressure on yourself, fail myself. 
and then when I when I achieve some like some the level that I want to be, then other people expected more from me. My country expected me. Like media expected me to perform. Uh, but I honestly like I always try to focus on my own pressure. So like my goals are the most important. I don't care about the media or like other ex people expectations because at the end of the day like. I, they might have that pressure, but they, I don't know, like, do they care about me that much? I don't think so. Like, I do care about myself and uh, I have to be ready to deal with myself. This summer, when I went to World Championship, uh, my, my parents were able to come and they haven't uh, seen me racing for 12 years. Since I got to the US, they never had a chance to come to the to the US and, and watch me swimming. So that was that was really special moment, and I was really excited. And, and uh, when I uh, when we had the award ceremony, and I was about to step on the you know on the box, I just started crying because I saw the faces of my family and how proud they were. And this is you know for me. These are the moments that I, I you know, work for. Uh, it's, it's not like winning medals. Of course, it's nice to win medals and, and swim your best times, but seeing your loved ones, family, faces, proud of you, it's just the best prize that you can win.